What if I told you that it were possible for you to make between five to $10,000 per day on YouTube without having to show your face, without having to talk, and without having to do much work at all by posting ambient videos? Well, honestly, you probably wouldn't believe me, and that's fair, because I didn't believe this was real either until I found this. This channel here, Relaxing White Noise, makes exactly the kind of ambient videos that we'll talk about in today's video. And if I go to Social Blade, type in the channel's name, and take a closer look at their estimated earnings, you can see that it bounces between $3,000 and $6,000 per day consistently. And the crazy part about this is if we go to their channel, you'll see for yourself that they aren't really doing anything particularly special. I mean, most of their videos are using still images with some basic sound effects. And look at the results. Or take this channel, Soothing Relaxation, for example. You can see that their estimated earnings are almost double the last channel's earnings per day, between $6,000 and $14,000. And I can tell you right now for a fact that Social Blade's estimated earnings are as much as 40 to 60 percent lower than what they actually are. And so more realistically, this channel is probably earning between $12,000 and $24,000 per day consistently. As you can see, Social Blade estimates that this channel is making about $2.2 million per year. I personally believe from personal experience that this number is probably double that. This channel is probably making closer to four to five million dollars per year just by making ambient videos. In today's video, we're going to go through step by step and talk about exactly how you can start making these videos videos for yourself so that you can start making five, 10, 15, $25,000 per day. We're going to talk about everything from how exactly to find the best ambient video ideas that make the most money to actually creating the videos themselves step by step. And so if you haven't done so already, please do me a huge favor and drop a like down below for the YT algo and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I would appreciate that so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you. But the first step of making ambient videos is actually figuring out what type of ambient videos you should be making. And I'm going to give you guys a little secret that I personally use here on my channel that helps me to figure out what content is performing best within my niche. And there's three different ways that I do this. The first thing that I do is find about six of the largest channels in my niche. These were the six largest channels that I could find. Once I found the largest channels, I'm gonna go to each of their pages, click on videos, and then click on sort by, and then sort the videos by most popular. And what this is gonna do is show you all of that channel's best performing videos of all time. And what I want you to do is write down the top 10 performing videos of all time on all six of the largest channels within the ambient video niche. And after you've gone through all of these channels, different top performing videos, you're going to look through all of the different video titles and try to see if you can identify some type of pattern. For example, do all of these channels have some type of video that always performs really well across every single channel? If so, you're going to take that and you're going to make that video as well. But even outside of trying to identify these patterns, basically any of these top performing videos on any of these channels are going to be videos that you can make on your channel as well and they're probably going to perform really well if they performed well on these other channels so that's the first thing that i do the next thing i do is i go back to sort by and i'm going to sort the videos by newest and basically what you're looking for here are videos that have relatively high views compared to the channel's baseline what exactly do I mean by that? If I scroll through this channel's videos, I'll see what their baseline views are. And the baseline views are basically just the average views that the channel gets every single time they post a new video. And so for this channel specifically, you can see that their baseline views are on average between 15 and 35,000 views. And so I'm scrolling through the videos and what I'm looking for is a video that exceeds this baseline significantly. All of these videos have between 15 and 35,000 views, but then all of a sudden there's this one right here, which has almost 300,000 views. That's almost 10 times the amount of views that this channel normally gets when they post a new video. And so basically what that tells me is that people really like that video. People must really enjoy the sound of rainforest ambience. And so I'm going to go to my notes and I'm going to write down rainforest ambience. And perhaps I'll include a link of that video in my notes so that I can go back and reference that video to see what exactly they're doing in the video that people like so much. And so basically, if you wanted an endless supply of video ideas, you could just scroll through and find the videos that have spikes in views. And the last way to find ambient sounds is by using a tool called vidIQ. It's a tool that I use personally on my channel. So basically this tool has a ton of features that can help you to grow your YouTube channel. But the one feature that I want to focus on in this video is the keyword research. And so for example, if I go to keywords and I type in ambient sounds and I click this button down here that says view all 300 matching items, vidIQ is going to give me a massive list of keywords that people are searching 
looking for on YouTube every single day. And I can just go through this massive list and just start collecting basically an infinite amount of video ideas. And if I wanted to, I could get even more specific by searching for something like rain ambience. And again, it's going to give me a massive list of keywords and other related keywords that people are searching for on YouTube every single day. This is a very powerful tool that can really help you to start getting traction on your ambient videos. Now, if you use my link down below in the description, you can get access to vidIQ for 30 days for just $1. If you don't want to spend $1 for a 30 day trial, then just stick with the first two methods of trying to find ideas. But if you want to take all of the guesswork out of the idea process, then I would highly recommend vidIQ. Okay, so that's how you actually find the best ambient video ideas. Now, how do you actually go about creating the videos? The first thing that you'll need is editing software. And here's the thing, okay? You don't have to pay for anything. If you have an Apple computer, then you can download and use iMovie, which is very powerful and free editing software. If you have a PC, then you can download and use DaVinci Resolve, Hit Film Express, Kden Live, or Lightworks. All of these are 100% free, and in my opinion, the best one is DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you wanted the best editing software and you were willing to pay some money, both Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro are the absolute best options. I personally use Final Cut Pro, and so that's what I'll be using to show you how to make ambient videos. And so let's start from scratch here. I've got my computer, and let's just pretend like you finished watching this video, and you're gonna go out and start making ambient videos. What's the first step? We've already discussed step one, which is finding the actual ambient video ideas. And so let's go to our ambient video ideas, and I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna choose one and start making the video. And so we'll go with the rain and thunderstorm ambience. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this website here, Epidemic Sound. This website has over 90,000 high quality sound effects. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here for a second and just let you know that this website will require a very small subscription. It's only $9 per month if you're paying annually. Now, in my opinion, this is extremely cheap for what you're actually getting. Considering that these videos have the potential to earn you between five and $25,000 per day, paying $9 per month for the subscription is literally nothing. But the good news though, is that you can get started completely free with a 30 day free trial by using my link down below in the description. And I'm also gonna pin it to the top of the comment section just to make it as easy as possible for you. And so click on that link and get started with a free 30 day trial, okay? And so I'm on Epidemic sound and I'm going to click right here where it says sound effects. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of different sound effects to choose from, but because I know we're making a ambient rain and thunderstorm video, I'm going to click right here where it says weather. And when I click that, it's gonna pull up a massive list of weather related sound effects. I mean, we've got rain, wind, lightning, thunder. And as you can see, if I just keep on scrolling here and pressing view more, it just keeps on going and going. And so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna start downloading some sound effects that I'm gonna use in my video. But actually, before I do that, before I start downloading sound effects, I wanna first find my visuals because obviously the visuals that I use in the video will slightly change the sound effects that I use, right? If I'm showing a picture of rain and leaves, then it would make sense to download the rain and leaves sound effect. Now, there are three websites that you can use completely free that will let you download extremely high res images. And those websites are unsplash.com, rawpixel.com, and pexels.com. And I'm gonna start off by searching for rain images on raw pixel. Now, this is where you can really start having a lot of fun and getting creative. Just because we're making a rain and thunderstorm ambient video doesn't mean that you're only searching for rain images. I mean, certainly the results that you get for rain images are really cool and they could work, but if you really want to step up your game and have your videos truly stand out, then I want you to get creative. And here's exactly what I mean. Instead of typing in rain, I'm gonna type in the word coffee shop, for example. And lo and behold, this first image here is perfect for what I'm thinking of doing. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, but Joshua, there's no rain in that picture. How exactly can this be an ambient rain video if there's no rain? Just hang with me here, okay? Because I promise you right now, your mind is about to be blown. So I'm gonna download this image and bring it into my editing software. And I'm just gonna make sure that the image fills the entire frame by scanning scaling it up until all of the black is gone. Next, I'm gonna go to this website here called videasy.com, and basically this website has a ton of free video resources. And so if, for example, I type in the word rain, anything that doesn't have this pro tag on it is completely free to use. And I'll download this rain video here, and then I'm gonna pull this rain video into my editing software. Next, I'm gonna place the rain video that I just downloaded on top of the image of the coffee shop. And what this gives us is just a black screen with rain, but 
if I select the rain clip here on my timeline and go up here to where it says blend mode, I'm gonna change the blend mode from normal to screen. And what you'll notice is that the black goes away and what we're left with is the rain on top of the coffee shop image, right? So that's pretty cool, but we're not finished because obviously right now it's raining inside of the coffee shop. And so to make this look more realistic, all we're gonna do is apply a mask that covers the table part of the image to make it look like it's actually raining outside, okay? And so let me show you what I mean. If I go down to my effects and then go to mask and then go to shape mask, I'm gonna drag and drop this shape mask onto my rain video within my timeline. And what you'll notice now is that it gives us this area here, this mask where the rain only exists inside of that mask. And so if I extend this mask to cover the entire image except for the table, it gives us this. And now the rain is outside, or at least that's how we perceive it, right? Now, if I really wanted to make this more realistic, I could go in and I could mask out these light fixtures, but most people are never going to notice that. And so now we've got this coffee shop. It's raining outside. It looks pretty cool, right? but I'm not finished yet because I'm gonna go back to VidEasy and I'm gonna see if I can download some steam for the cup of coffee within the image. So I'll go to vidEasy.com, type in steam, and to no surprise, we've got steam. I'll click on this one here, download it, and then bring it into my editing software. And again, same thing, I'm gonna place it on top of the image, select the steam, go to my blend mode and turn on screen, and then we're gonna position the steam to be directly over the coffee cup, and of course, we'll scale it down just to make it look more realistic. And I'm actually going to turn down the opacity a little bit as well, because I feel like the steam is a little bit too white and it doesn't look realistic. And so now all of a sudden we've got this still image that has moving rain, a steaming cup of coffee. And if we wanted to, we could add some atmospheric dust to make it feel even more alive. And so here we go. I got this for free, obviously on VidEasy. So I'm going to turn on screen and then turn the opacity on this way, way down. And look at that. I personally think that this looks stunning. And so now we have the visuals and it's time to go back to Epidemic Sound and download some rain sound effects. And again, you can get a 30 day free trial of Epidemic Sound by using my link down below. And I'll just go through here and listen to a few different sound effects. You don't have to overthink this process, just find something that works. And so for me, this one sounds good. I'll download that, drop it into my editing software below the visuals. And because we're sitting inside of a coffee shop, that probably means that there's gonna be some coffee shop sounds. And so what I'll do is go up here to this search icon and I'm going to type in the word coffee shop. And here we go. Okay. We've got a couple of different coffee shop ambient sounds. I like the way that this one sounds. And so I'm going to download that and drop it into my editing software. And from this point, there is no science to this. You're kind of just using your ears and you're adjusting the volume of the sound effects to your desired sound. For me, I think that it would sound better if I could hear the rain a little bit more than the actual coffee sounds. And so I'm going to turn the coffee shop audio down a few decibels and this is what we have. Now, that sounds good, but I'm not fully convinced that I'm actually sitting inside of a coffee shop. The rain sounds a little bit too close. It almost sounds like I'm sitting outside of the coffee shop. If I'm sitting inside of a coffee shop, I definitely will still hear the rain, but it will be muffled a little bit. And so if I go down here to my audio effects, Final Cut Pro actually has an audio effect called muffled. And I'm just gonna drag and drop this muffled effect onto my rain audio. I mean, seriously, all kidding aside, that sounds amazing. And I'm not a professional at making these ambient videos. Like what you just saw was my first time making an ambient video. And so here's the thing, right? I could either leave this as is, or I could go in and add some music. Here's how it sounds. I mean, come on, that sounds, that sounds really good. Like I'm actually really proud of myself for doing that. And so now what's left to do? Well, at this point, it's time for you to go and create a new YouTube channel. Give yourself a name, watch this video as many times as you need so that you can learn how to make your own ambient videos. Now, as you just saw me do in this video, you have to be creative. For example, rain and thunderstorm ambience is just one type of ambient video, but I want you to be creative and think about where else it could be raining. It could be raining in your bedroom. It it could be raining in a coffee shop like we just did, or it could be raining outside of your tent as 
you're out camping, right? You have to get creative and really try and create these atmospheres that when people click onto your videos, they actually feel like they're sitting at the place from the video. And it doesn't take long at all to create these videos. I mean, you just saw for yourself that we made that coffee shop video in under 10 minutes, okay? And so now you have to get out there and do it. If you have not already dropped a like down below for the YT Algo and subscribe to the channel, it would mean the world to me if you could do both those things. You guys are truly amazing. I appreciate every single one of you so much. And I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.